I have a complaint to make. I have a complaint to make. I got a text yesterday from O2. Oh, okay. Well, they're going to give you free stuff because you've been such a loyal customer for so many, 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 many years. I wish. Oh. I've been with them so for over 15 years, right? Yeah. Since I was 19. It's longer than 16 years, 17 years I've been with them. been with the same network all that time. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I was with three mobile at college when I was 16 because I got the new flip phone and I thought it was the da- the, the, the daddy. The daddy. And, uh, and then ended my three contract when I was 19, I think, and then went with O2. And I've been with them since I was 19. I'm 37. So I'm almost 20 years, right? And pay my bills on time, et cetera, et cetera. Um, this last six months, my I've, had, I've changed business, uh, changed bank accounts and had to change my billing date. And as a result, one of my payments lapsed. Oh, right? I hate you when that happens. So they cut my phone off, right? Now that's standard. I expect that. But what they do is they cut your phone off so you can't phone anyone, including O2. Oh, that's ridiculous. So you can't even call O2 can't even to pay your bill, right? So they cut your uh, data off so you can't get on the app. So unless you've got Wi-Fi, it's ridiculous. And then you phone someone up and it takes four hours to get through to them, and I'm not exaggerating. No, I can imagine. And then you put through to someone in a different country, then they transfer you to someone in another country, and then they transfer you. To, it's the worst customer service I've ever had, let alone cutting you off so that you can't even phone them to fix it. Let alone the text I received yesterday, which turns out to be a UK-wide network change. They're increasing the prices by 14%. 14%? It's the biggest price increase ever. So what are you getting for your 14%? Nothing. It's to, it's to increase, it's to um, go in line with inflation and the rising costs of network charges. Okay, so if everything's going up, then are, they, are their um, staff's wages going to go up now? Are they going to give them more money as well and everyone be cha- you know, paid fairly and it's not just going to go in their pockets? Is that what's going on? I'm going to look at what the O2 profit was for because 2022. Let's find out. You know, we all we all know that things have gone up and we're happy to pay an increase, but 14%. 14%? What are you doing with my 14%? That's insanity, like 14%. If your, if your bill is like £150 a month, yep. that's a ridiculous increase. Uh, so O2 made £420 million last year. Right. So In they, profit. They've made that. And I, I have a little look what they pay an hour. <laughs> For their operatives, I bet it's something like seven pounds. Okay, it's going to be nothing. Something. Do you know yeah. what I mean? The, the, if you're lucky, they made four hundred twenty million in profit. That's that's after in profit. Fourteen <sighs> percent in this climate is it's fucking criminal. Yeah, it's fucking criminal. And they want to take another fourteen percent. Yeah, I'm, so I'm leaving. I'm leaving. O two, mate, you've taken the fucking piss. There's none of this fucking loyal customer perk you get. I mean, I've been with you for almost twenty years. See now, been with you longer than I've been, had relationships. I don't understand why they fourteen percent. And this is something that a lot of companies do. A lot of the um, insurance companies do it. They won't. You can be with them for ten years, and they don't take that as a loyalty. They'll they'll you know put your bill up by a stupid. I mean, mine went up by what five hundred pounds a year. Insane. Same car. Your car insurance went yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, that was insane. Same car, no different. Just me driving. Hasn't it. claimed. Haven't claimed. Haven't had an accident. Gone up five hundred pounds, right? But Sky, Sky's another one. Has that gone up as well? They gone up again. Oh my god! And you're like, guys, come on. You're giving us nothing more for the service and charging us the freaking earth. It's insanity. I'm so disappointed in O2. I'm disappointed in the current financial situation that the, the, the government are just fucking up. Like, if we didn't have COVID, this wouldn't be happening. If they no. didn't shut the country down because of the fucking flu. Well, we all got to pay for it now, haven't we? Okay. Right? Now we have to fucking pay yep, for it. Oh, paid. yeah, but we gave you 80% salary. No, you fucking didn't. Well, I did. Some people got it. I got it. Yeah, if you run your own business, you got fuck all. Exactly. Exactly. Fuming. 14%. I have a complaint to make. O2, you can O R. So, guys, in the comments, I want to hear about your experiences with your provider. Who are you with? Who would you recommend I go with and why? Well, I, I'm with Gif Gaff. I'm going down to pay as you go, I think. Which Sim is only. Gif Gaff. Yeah. 
SIM only. I pay, I think it's twelve pounds. I just need the data. That's all I need. I just need I just need four G. Yeah. Um because it got Wi Fi for ninety percent of my time. Yeah. Don't need anything else. And most credits come with like, you know, put ten pound on you get unlimited data and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. great. It's great. So like because I was on a contract that was, I think, between me and Mike, we were probably paying £300 a month between the two of us. It was insane. Jesus. So we've gone down, and this is £12 for me, £12 for Mike, and £12 for Archie. Guys, that's not what you think of the comments. Um, and then I've got one last thing I would like to talk about. Oh, go I on. have a complaint to my guy. Bring what you got. We're going all the way to the top. We will hear the sound of one million people screaming. When we're backstage, we'll play loud, surfing the 